Welcome back to my channel everyone. Three tips here. Another silver cell update video. It's been eight days since I started the cell. If you notice I've got it set at 3.3 volts and the current is a little bit erratic. I put the fuse back in because I didn't feel comfortable leaving it unattended while I slept. Here's a look inside the cell. Day eight of pure silver crystal growth it's consuming the silver very quickly now with those improved connections if you look the silver is pretty much all consumed out of the anode filter basket it's been about 12 hours since I last filled the anode basket with uh, more silver so we're going to go ahead and do that now now that I've filled the basket you'll notice that the uh, amps are way back up from what we started with and after installing that inline fuse I used crimped fittings there I'll fix that and get it more permanent but I do want to keep a fuse in this circuit so now let's check the voltage and uh, during the video yesterday I touched the strap up here and I didn't realize it until after I was vi uh, editing the video so we're gonna put the uh, positive lead onto the uh, anode up here and I'm going to touch the bowl and we get a little bit of a voltage drop here probably due to the added resistance of the uh, fuse that I installed let's test my hypothesis I'm going to take the fuse back out of the circuit and then we'll see if we get a uh, a better reading it's gonna I just crimped it onto the end of the wire here and we'll form a little loop Let's reinstall the anode. All right, I've removed the fuse from the circuit. Still got 3.3 volts. Let's come back down here to the cell and do some more tests with our uh, voltmeter here. Positive lead on the anode bar negative lead on the bowl itself yep that was it I'm back up to 3.3 volts so that fuse that inline fuse creates some resistance it is day nine in the saga of the silver cell if you look down in here let me get a good shot of this we've got a big clump of crystals that have grown up and made contact with the anode basket and the reason I know that that's happened is because the silver cell power supply is at zero amps what that means is we've blown the fuse I think what we'll do kill the power supply and now I'm gonna take the cell apart or at least take the anode basket out of there and shut the cell down I'm gonna remove the anode bar here just kind of get it out of the way 
take the uh, anode basket and filter out of here. All right, if you look down in here, you'll see that uh, a plume of very fine silver crystals began to form and they actually came up and made contact with the anode basket and when that happened it probably burned a hole in the anode filter bag and so this batch of silver crystal I wouldn't trust it to be high purity silver now since that happened so what we're gonna have to do is just take it all apart and start all over as you can see there's some stuff floating on the surface there which is uh, unusual it's usually nice and clean in there so what we're gonna have to do here I think is continue uh, to try to find a solution to the uh, the silver cell problem here I've been operating a silver cell for 10 years and I've never had a problem like this before and uh, what we'll do now is just cover this back up and I'll get all that out of there at a later time and we'll start all over with the double refined pure silver crystal Alrighty, that will conclude the video. Thank you for watching.